Well, there is now a clearer timeline for when Enfield will get its own train station once again. In fact, almost $14 million has already been approved to build a new station for Amtrak and the CT rail in the Thompsonville section of town there. But not everyone is all aboard. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey, Audrey Russo has those details. Wallingford, Meriden, Berlin, Hartford, Windsor, Windsor Box, Thompsonville, and Springfield. Board. That's the announcement you used to hear riding these rails. But as former train conductor and current CTDOT Commissioner Joe Giletti says, a train hasn't slowed down in Enfield or Thompsonville in quite some time. 35 years since we stopped at Thompsonville or Enfield. But that's about to change. Thanks to $13.9 million in federal funds earmarked to build a new train station. State officials say the design should be finalized in 2023 with construction starting in 2024. But it won't just be a train station. Officials say there's plans to build out access to bus routes, put in sidewalks, and create commuter parking lots, all in the hopes of making Enfield a travel hub rather than just another stop along the tracks. There are many small businesses that are starting to open up in this section, and we will. this will be a benefit to all of those businesses. The current plans place the new station right in the backyard of the Bigelow Commons apartments, which has hundreds of units full of people who could soon see a lot more traffic. They are actually extremely supportive. We're willing to give up part of their parking lots to make this all work. It's going to make people not want to stay here. Natalie Rodriguez was visiting her boyfriend, who lives in the Commons, when we stopped by. She fears the new station could make it harder for residents to come and go. Finding parking here is already hard enough. We don't have assigned parking as it is. We also checked in with the Cogtella family, who the Channel 3 I team profiled in an investigation about eminent domain. Steve Cogtella lives a few hundred yards from where the train station would be built. He says part of his property is being taken by the town to fix a bridge but he claims there were bigger goals of future development in mind. This is all considered transit-oriented development now. I think it's uh, they, they want to fulfill their fantasy down here, and that is uh, high-density development. In Enfield, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Iowa.